Hey, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day. It's still Sunday. I'm getting ready to pump me some iron. But I just got done watching From, episode 9, I think. Yeah, I only got one episode left, because I think they only do 10, 10 episodes. But this one's called Revelations Chapter 1. You believe that? Revelations Chapter 1. Revelations Chapter 1. Open your Bibles, too. <laughs> but, whew. You know, I want answers. I really do. But they just keep giving you these breadcrumbs, you know? Uh, oh, man. These characters, man. This cast is so good, man. I love this cast. Yeah, I was watching this and I was saying to myself, man, yeah, there's so many streaming services out there that's got so many good shows on there. It's just hard to get everybody to watch something. And I still say a lot of people ought to watch this show and give it a shot. But there are so many people that tells me about stuff they're watching. I'm like, yeah, man, I'll get around to it. But, you know, I'm just like, man, I'm still stuck on stuff like this. You know, uh, I just got done watching Penguin. And because uh, I'm going to cancel my HBO Max subscri uh, subscription so I could, you know, actually uh, I don't need it no more because of the fact that uh, I watched the rest of Penguin and I did watch, you know, Salem's Lot, which I thoroughly enjoyed. But this episode, Fatima has been kidnapped by that one guy that keeps seeing visions with that Polaroid. I still don't know what he's seeing. And then that one woman that keeps appearing that looks like, she looks like an older version of Fatima, but she looks like she's all, her skin's all dried up and stuff. Well, she was holding Fatima down inside that place, and the people was right. Victor was inside that building, and they could have rescued her. So I was getting a little anxious, man, because I was like, and then he, that one kid that was having these, you know, the one dude that was, has the Polaroid, he, he's feeding her blood and she was drinking the blood. And then, uh, you know, boy decided to pair everybody up and tried to look for Fatima. And then, uh, the girl that was, had, you know, uh, she, she could talk to the, 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 the. You know, that one girl that everybody don't like because she was trying to murder uh, that little boy. She was hearing, uh, she was telling them that she's hearing voices and they saying that it's too late and she's real close by. But by the time you get to her, it'd be too late. These, these, whatever these things is, half vampire, whatever they are, they don't look like vampire. I don't know what they are. I don't even know where they come from. But they are messing with their minds. They are really messing with that. I love how these people are doing a good job acting wise far as uh you know the fact that they 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 are sitting there and they're like uh their acting ability is on point and it, it makes you feel like you're it actually makes you feel like you're inside that uh that little place that they're all stuck at because when I was watching I said man you actually feel like you're part of that little community man you know and and uh you know, all these, all these, and they got backstories, but they're kind of small backstories. They're not doing that like a, you know, it, it, it's, it's, uh, I need some answers. I really do because every time I watch, when I watch a show, I just start watching it and I just really get into it. I'm like, like I was getting ready to work out, you know, and I was yawning and like, ah, oh, you know, yawning is like, I know I got to work out. And I started, I saw, that's right. I said, uh, from is on. So I turned on from and man, I just, you know, I just love when I can watch something and I just get so glued to it. You know, now I'm ready to go pump some iron, but uh, they're still looking for Fatima. And then that one lady that came back after she got away and came back through the ambulance, now she's starting to see visions when she touched things. So I don't know where that's coming from, but uh, it's pretty slick, though, because she did see how Victor's mom got killed. But uh, I like to find out whatever happened to Victor's sister. That's that's what I want to find out. Whatever become of Victor's sister because uh, they never really touch bases on Victor's little sister. You only see her like in this this last episode. You seen where Victor's mom says she loves him very much, but she left them down there together. But then I think the little girl ended up leaving after a while looking for her mom because it actually showed how she was running and she got killed by uh, those things. It's just I don't know, man. My biggest thing is, where's these things come from? And why is it that they can't get out of that area? You know, why people just keep getting drawn in that area? Because, I mean, they, could, they got more. I mean, 
man, by the end of this season, they could have another, you know, bunch of people, you know, get stuck because that's what happens. Somebody ends up going down there and they end up going in that town. You just add more people. But it seems like when they add more people, they take more people, you know. And then I don't know what's up with that 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 putt, that dummy. Because that dummy, man, when that guy was up on that tree, that real smart dude, he was up on that tree, he was making another tree with, you know, with the jars. He was putting, you know, glass bottles up in this tree. And then Victor's dad's like, you're making another tree? He goes, yeah. He said, well, my wife made another tree. He goes, yeah, I know. You keep telling me that, you know. And then when he, before Victor's dad got up there, he got on top of the roof. And then one of the, it must have been the person that died. He said, oh, don't start this. And then. And he had the dummy with him. And then the dummy made this really eerie noise and he almost fell off the ladder. And then when he almost fell off the ladder, that's when he ran into Victor's dad and they started talking and he told him that everybody's looking for Fatima. But I'm interested in seeing what's coming out of Fatima's stomach. And it's going to be a child or it's going to be one of them little uh, crazy looking Childs, it looks like one of those things, but those things can't come out unless it's at night. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I don't know, man. I'm just like, okay, they can't come out at night, but they're not vampires. They don't suck no blood, but they do tear you up. And they know how to get inside your mind. That's the thing. I mean, they, I, I was watching this show and they really got those people like all kinds of messed up. And I can't blame them because. You know, I was sitting there going, man, how do they use the restroom? Where is the toilet tissue at? You know, how are they brushing their teeth? How's their personal hygiene? You know, because I'm like, did they take a shower? Where are they using the restroom and all that stuff at? How are they washing their clothes? I mean, I would, I would, I mean, the food would be the number one thing on the agenda. But man, I'd be like, man, y'all, you know, <sighs> I was watching this show and I was like, man, they've been there a while, man. I'm like, they don't have no soap. They ain't got no dish. No dish soap, no washing this, no dish, you know, they got electricity, but then there's no, you know, you know, you can't make it that convenient anyway, but I'm just wondering, I know they got a way of doing things, they just, you know, in the movie, they ain't gonna really flush all that out, but I used to sit there and say, man, they gotta use the restroom, they gotta take a shower every now and then, how are they brushing their teeth, just, that would be rough, what they need and I'm just being I'm just being funny here. They need a Walmart truck to go in there and just get stranded. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if they got like a big semi truck full of goods, like toothpaste, toilet tissue, uh, you name it, all kinds of stuff. And then the truck driver gets out and goes, "What's going on here?" Blah blah, you know. And then maybe he has a girl that's with him that travels with him, and they're a pair, and they can't get out, and then they. Then they open up the, the semi truck and they're all looking and they got all the supplies that's supposed to go to a store. That would be awesome. Now you probably sit there and the viewers will probably sit there and oh, now come on, that's convenient. You actually going to have a semi truck get there with all the supplies? Come on, man. But hey, I know in the movie, in the in the film Lost, Lost had where they went down inside that little hole when they found that little hole and they're supposed to keep track of that that ticking thing, and then uh, they came across something that was, uh, you know, that was dropped from the airplane that had a lot of food and supply and stuff like that. But they still had to watch how much they eat on loss. So I have to sit there and say, man, they need a they need a semi truck driver to get stuck in there that was supposed to go and drop off a load to like a like a supermarket, and then he gets stuck there too. And then they open up the back of the truck and they got like. All kinds of stuff like band aids, you know, phthalate and alcohol and two, you know, deodorant, soap, just, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, they need a semi truck driver to be stuck there. I was like, that would be pretty, that would be pretty cool. But then again, if you was a viewer and you watch that, you probably sit there going, now come on, man, that's, 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 that's convenient. But if you remember in Lost, they got food dropped to them somehow when they thought that there was no, you know, they was running out of food and they was rationing and all that kind of stuff. And they figured out how to take showers and all that kind of stuff with the water running down off a, off a certain thing. So anyway, I know I'm just speculating here, but I was watching the show, but I'd like to know what Fatima got inside her body. And what's, what's the big deal with her anyway? Why are they doing all that with her all of a sudden, you know? They picked the nicest chick. 
to to do something with. You ever notice that? I mean, why do you pick the nicest girl? I Man, she's the nicest girl. Everybody liked Fatima, you know. And now they now they using her as whatever that thing's inside her body. And then that one dude, man, I like that one dude, but what's he seeing in that pale Polaroid? And what gets me when they decide to pair up to look for Fatima, he decides to pair up with Fatima's husband. And he he kind of like you know, he's kind of like looking at him like because he's saying things, you know, they're still together. And I said, and then boy, he's, he's, he's getting that, whatever, I don't know what it's called, Parkinson's. I think he said it's getting really worse. And then he got the, he got the, the one guy that was the, like, the side sheriff guy. He decided, he, he told him, if anything happened to him, I want you to, you know, they do have that cop chick there, but I think she's going to play an important role too. Uh, but she got paired up with the woman that runs the big house. And that woman told me, she goes, I don't need to, you know, uh, give you a tutorial on what went on. What I need you to do is be with me and trust me. And then after this is over, I will tell you everything you need to know. But right now I need you to, you know, and I like how she handled that. She did a good job. It actually showed her, I guess, girlfriend in a picture. I was like, oh boy, here we go. You go in there again. Cause she was in there, she was in the room and she was looking at a picture with her and some chick, and it looked like they were on a hunting trip. And I sit there and I said, Oh wow, she's uh, okay, whatever, you know. Cause you already got those two chicks that's in the share in that one house that you know, both of them happen to be nurses and and it's weird how they end up, you know, getting together because, you know, she was by herself, but then she told the one guy that was a sheriff, you know, the Asian guy that she she had a girlfriend. And, and he was like, you know, and that's when I knew she was, you know, whatever. And then her, her girlfriend ends up being on that bus, you know, but I like to know what's in that little gateway, you know, when they go through that little gateway and then all of a sudden it, you know, her and that one cocky dude that's, uh, got, it, you know, got his face all, you know, cut up, you know, and he, because he got messed up because he got left behind. And those people said, we'll take him with us. And they tortured him for a little bit. And then they give him back. I'm just wondering what. And those cicadas, man. Those cicadas, man. He keeps hearing those cicadas. I'm telling y'all, man. I so love this show. Part of me wants this show to wrap up. Part of me wants. I want answers. I want them to seal it all up. And I want to go home. But at another another part of me is I, I think we could. We could punch out a couple more seasons, you know. We could pu punch out a couple more seasons, but I don't, I don't really want them to drag it out too much. You know what I mean? I need, I need something, you know. So I don't know, man. It just, uh, <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, I enjoy this show. I enjoy the crap out of the show. I got, I got one more episode, and I can cancel my subscription with them too, because. Yeah, I usually cancel my subscription with MGM Plus because once From's off, I don't. I don't I don't take them back until From comes back on the following year. So anyway, y'all, From Episode 9. Did you watch it? And what did you think about it? You know? Uh Revelations Chapter 1, that's what it's called. I thought that was pretty sick. I was trying to come up with the what the title was. I had to scroll through it. But uh what else was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else, but I think that's about it. Um hmm. Well, I think that's all. Uh, I was going to come up with something else, but what else is... Is there anything else? No, I think that's it. But anyway, you guys, I really enjoy this show. I, I I really love when I can sit down and watch something and I just get into it. You know, I will not... I don't think I'm going to touch Penguin Season 2. I, I can't... I can't handle that, that, that type of show. These shows are my style. I watched Penguin because people told me about it, and I thought I'd give it a try. And man, that that show is and Penguin is a cold-hearted, brutal, just a brutal dude. I don't like him. I I like to see Batman. I'm not gonna lie. I like to see Batman in season two. They pay. They need to back up a truckload of money and ask Robert Patterson, the guy that plays the new Batman, to just make an appearance and whoop Penguin's ass. I'm talking about whoop his ass. I'm talking about just beat the living shit out of him, and then. You know, have a penguin sit there and like, what the what the hell was that? You know, that was Batman. You just got your ass beat down. All your little shenanigans, man, you couldn't get away with because Batman just beat your ass. You're lucky he didn't kill you. But after after, after he killed that Victor kid, I said to myself, man, Batman needs to swoop in and just beat his 
ass. And I don't even like cussing. I'm talking about whoop his ass. I'm talking about beat the limit shit out of him. Make him remember that ass whooping. Now, every time every, somebody even mentioned the word Batman, the penguin would be like, well, all my little shenanigans and all the stuff I done got away with. Because he done, he, the penguin dodged a lot of bullets. A lot of times he shouldn't have got away and he did, but somehow he's finagled his way out. But I like to see, I like to see them talk, give Robert Patterson, the guy that plays the new Batman, a ton of money. Say, I just need you for one episode. I need you to swoop in. I need you to show everybody in season two. You just go in and whoop his ass and everybody that's involved with him and then take off, you know, and that way the penguin will always remember Batman, you know, and, 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 but anyway, we're talking about from, I'm done with penguin and I'm not going back to it. Cause I can't stand, I can't handle this stuff, but that is an excellent, excellent show. Excellent writing. Just like this. Just like I said, I was getting restless. And I know I have to work out. Sometimes I procrastinate when I got to work out. I got to do a load of laundry. And I said to myself, man, oh, shoot, From is on. So I watched From, and I just sit here and sit here and sit here and never moved. I was so into it. This is some, again, this is my type of show. These are the type of shows that I'm really geared to, boys, and watching. And I love these type of shows. And, uh. You know, like I said, I was sitting there saying to myself, man, I said, man, there are so many streaming services that's got so many good shows on there. I can see why some people don't know nothing about this show back here. You know, Penguin, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of people still yet have to watch that. And, but uh, I need some answers, man. And I still know what, I, I'm curious to see what's inside Phantom's stomach. Cause then she found the door. But yet she couldn't lift it. She almost had it lifted up. And then this woman came out of nowhere and held her down and kept her and put her hand over her mouth. But I was like, ain't she a spirit? So how is she holding Fatima down if she's a spirit? I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. But that, that's what I like. It's get, it gets me into it. And I'm definitely into this show. This is, God, this is good writing. This is a good show. I'm going to miss it when it's over because I do believe we only got one more episode left. Be blessed.